What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here. Today we're going to figure out how much solar do you need to run your um, RV or travel trailer or pop-up off of solar. Uh, especially when you're uh, boondocking, you need to know these things so you don't run out of power, of course, right? So, um, I'm going to give you a quick little guide on how to figure all this out. The first step you want to do is get an uh, amp meter. Or some kind of meter that measures amps. I just got this Harbor Freight one. And we're going to measure um, how many uh, amps each item uses. We're going to jot that down on a piece of paper. And then we're going to figure everything out for you guys. Alright? So the first thing I did was check a light. These are two lights right here. They're using about 2.5 amps. So about 1.25 uh, amps each. So each light is uh, amp in the quarter. All right. Next thing we do is turn on our propane fridge. Uh, this thing will probably be running most of the time, especially in the summer. So let's turn that on real quick. Let's see what we're pulling. About 2.6 or so. I might have something different on my paper. Um, because, you know, it varies from time to time. But two, we'll just say two and a half. So you jot that down. And you go on to the next one. Alright. Um, now, I would like to mention that I already tested out my furnace. Um, it cycles through and it takes a while to stop. So I'm not even going to turn it on. I'll just take my word for it. It takes about six amps. Or about six amps or so. So um, I'm going to figure out. Now that I got everything done, um, I'm not doing my water pump mostly because it's winter time and everything is winterized. Um, but you don't really use your water pump that much, you know, except for take a quick shower, do a few dishes, um, nothing too major. So I'm not going to measure that. Um, but we're going to go off of those main things and see how much battery power or how much batteries and solar we need to keep this. Uh, camper running solely on uh, solar all right I'll get back to you guys all right now that we found out the amps we want to turn those amps into watts a uh, easy way of doing that is go on Google and uh, Google watt calculator and you just punch in the voltage and the amps and they'll tell you your watts once you do that you want to figure out how how long each uh, thing is going to be used for a 24 hour period uh, make sure you're generous don't be stingy with the hours um, give yourself a little extra if you have to because uh, in the end if you sell yourself short of power um, or power usage you know you're gonna be short on power and you might not have any lights or a refrigerator at the end of the day so be generous about that um, then what you want to do is figure out how many watt hours you produced in a day um, so I added everything up easy way to calculate watt hours it's pretty easy you just uh, 15 watt so this here is 15 watts times 5 and that gives you 75 watt hours all right fridge is 360 uh, 360 watts furnace is 37 and so on with a grand total of 542 watt hours a day for a 24 hour period now that might be a little bit uh, generous which is good like I said you you want to be more generous and you want to be stingy with it um, so now that we have that calculated um, now we just need to punch in a little bit more numbers to figure out what we need um, so next thing that's more important than the solar panels is the batteries now if you don't know what size battery bank you need start off with a hundred amp hour and go from there um, I already have batteries uh, two six volt batteries at 210 amp hours so that's where I'll be getting my battery uh, will be 210 amp hours um, with a grand total of 2.5 kilowatt hours or 2520 watt hours uh, it being only discharged to 60 percent is a thousand and eight watt hours usable watt hours so you see how I did that you can't just use all of these 
because you don't want to kill your battery completely. That's bad for the battery. So um, 60 is kind of bad too. I would I would go with more with 70, but you know you could do 60 and it'll be all right. Um, so that's my actual usable watt hours is a thousand watt hours. So it's almost double, or it's a little bit under than double of my daily usage. So basically, technically, I could go two days without charging off uh, charging my batteries. I'd go two days um, off of it and still be all right. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about what solar panels can produce. Now, this is where it gets really tricky. Um, with uh, a 100 watt solar panel on average in my area it's always going to be different no matter or depending on where you live if you live near the equator you're going to get longer days or I'm sorry yeah so basically um, this is this is how I came up with 5.2 hours of daylight uh, you get full sun around 12 or about 11 30 to like let's just say two and that's pretty uh, generous and then you get about half of the power in between that um you know while it's daylight so <clears throat> what i roughly came up with is 520 watt hours for a 20 hour period all right so you you kind of want almost three times the amount of power that you need. So with me using 542 watt hours a day, you want to time that by three. So roughly around 1500. I know it's a little bit less than what it says, but uh, you basically want three times the amount of solar panels than what you produce a day. That way, in case if it's cloudy, um, no sun at all, uh, you know a slight overcast you're not going to get the full amount so you want to be almost triple of what you need and uh, just to make sure that your batteries get charged at the end of the day so with this system or with what i have i would need roughly 300 or 300 watts of solar panels to safely um run everything for the whole day so that's just a roughly, that's just rough, you know, estimate of what I need. The best way to do it is actually start where you think you need and go on from there. Um, you know, bring a generator if you need it, just in case, stuff like that. But um, that's a basic way of trying to figure out how many solar panels you need for an RV. I hope I answered all the questions. Um that you probably had uh, please like subscribe check out all my other videos um and there'll be a whole bunch of more videos coming all right thanks guys see ya